so, a part-time journalist for real? Yeah, no, I have a political blog for Isthmus called The Scons. Are you I, uh, serious? Yeah. You write that? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Jack Craver, nice to meet you. I'm Nathan Germain. Okay, cool. So what, what, Ethan? Nathan. Nathan? So why, why are you here tonight, Nathan? Are you filming this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I'm here, I'm a, I'm a graduate student, and I'm a teaching assistant at the University of Wisconsin. What do you study? What do you study? French. Oh, nice. Très bien. Tu veux faire l'entretien en français? Uh, no, not really. That's pretty good. That's a good but, um, Basically, I'm here because um, I consider this bill a direct assault on the quality of education at the university. Um, it's a direct assault on our teaching assistants, on our faculty, um, on our ability to attract the best graduate students and faculty, um, which will have a really bad effect on the uh, quality of education overall at this university. Um, I also think that it's uh, and it's, it's an assault on our on the democratic process. Um, I believe that uh, workers need to have the right to um, bargain collectively. I think that's something that's enshrined in the um, Universal Declaration on Human Rights. Um, and the way that this was introduced, um, it really has nothing to do with the budget. It's fundamentally designed to be an attack on unions. It's designed to destroy unions. Um, it's a union-busting bill, and that's what it's all about for Scott Walker. Um, so this this is an attack on good public sector jobs. Um, these are these are not people that are um, you know breaking it in. These these are honest. Um, Honest people making a living wage, and but um, this I mean, is a for a lot of Wisconsin taxpayers, right? I mean, the average state worker salary is like fifty thousand dollars. They see that, they say, "Wow, these people have all these protections I don't have. I would love to have pay twelve percent for my health care benefits, and you know, even have a pension." I mean, most private sector, a lot of them don't even have pensions at all. How do public sector workers justify, you know? The difference is that, and there is there is just a paper that came out on this from the um, EPI that says that um, if you if you normalize uh, if you do a real objective uh, analysis between public and private yeah. 